All right, guys, this is about as exciting as the action gets in an RV park. A water main blow. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but this whole place was just flooded. So they are working hard. Kind of funny. Sorry I've been so MIA this week, although you gotta admit I was on a little bit of a roll. <laughs> like a crazy roll. And uh, work just got caught up with me. I had kind of thought I was all caught up and <laughs> reality told me something different. I'm hoping to have more. I am, this next week is gonna be a little kooky for me. I am moving again, but it probably won't be till the middle of next week. And I'll share updates. Do, 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 do. This, my friends, is what's wrong with curbside pickup. <laughs> By the time they come around to pick it up, it's all been torn apart. Look at that little captain of the roost. They said there's some good... Ooh, Nelly. We got some good stuff. He's so funny. When I was just pulling out of the driveway there, I went to hit my brakes and I just had this total deja vu. Do you guys ever have that happen where I had actually dreamt, I think it must have been last night, that I was in a car accident. <laughs> this is probably not good to repeat. But because my brakes, like I couldn't, my brakes wouldn't stop. So, so <laughs> I think it's always something I'm, I've had trouble with this car and I've taken it in and they've looked it over and they always say it's fine, it's no problem, but I just couldn't stop and I got in a car accident and they, they were all coming after me, but then they let it go because of my brakes. <laughs> anyway, okay, randomness again. I always represent. <laughs> I am actually heading to the DMV because I need to register my RV and I need to register my truck. I am kind of part way there. I, I'm doing everything out of Florida. As an RVer, really the best options are Florida, Texas, and South Dakota, I think. Or is it North Dakota? I think it's South Dakota. And, and uh, the registration process for the RV is a little bit tricky because mine's a trailer. It's not like I can just tow it into the DMV. I mean, I guess I could, but I had to have a police officer <laughs> It was funny he didn't have a clue what I was doing and I had he had to verify the VIN number and sign off on it but I had him do it about four months ago because I had planned to do it a long time ago and I never did so now I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna talk with them and see what they say what they require and hopefully I can get it all resolved 